Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, this is another speed build for The Sims 4 and it is part of the block party challenge like I've been doing. Um, and there's more information about that in the description if you want to know more, if you want to take part in the challenge yourself. It's a lot of fun, I highly recommend it. And um, yeah, so this episode is going to be me building a huge park in my in my uh my neighborhood and the like i said in the last video the block party challenge is you building an entire neighborhood so you also have to build the neighborhood lots like parks and um the gyms and pretty much any other neighborhood lots that you want to put in there and um also i apologize if you can hear my dog in the background she's making a lot of noise and i can't make her stop so i apologize but yes um, I wanted to have like a little bit of everything in this park. I wanted also wanted it to be huge, so I picked the largest lot in the neighborhood to build that. And I made a fountain in the center to be like a really nice like center piece for the whole park where you can branch off from there and do any of the things that you would like to do. I put in horseshoes, I put in the monkey bars, I put in picnic areas, I put in a community garden which I was able to you via you like with cheat codes put in like mature fully grown fruit trees but I wasn't able to find any of the plants in the debug um, items that you can get to with cheat codes I, so I couldn't get like the strawberries or the flowers or anything like that so that I will ha probably have to add in by just playing the game and having my sims go find the stuff and plant them there and it'll just have to be like a community garden type thing um, which is still cool. I still like it a lot. I mean, the trees are there, so it's just like a nice base for to be to be played off of now. Um, and then I also put in the little jungle gym for kids to play on, and I put in, of course, bathrooms, which I really tried to make like look like uh, bathrooms that you would see in a park. And I really think that that came across. It looks pretty close to what you would see in like like a state park or a national park type thing. I also put in camp a campground, which I is a I know it's admittedly a little random, and it doesn't totally fit in with the whole theme, but it's really cool, and I wanted to have it in there, so I put it in there, and um, yeah, I just put in three small tents with a nice big big fireplace that, or uh, sorry fire pit in the middle. I didn't go with the smaller fire pit just because um, I didn't want it to look too small in the middle of that large area. And yeah, then other than that, I pretty much just added a whole bunch of details of lots of trees, um, the barbecue grills, coolers, rocks, and um, I like to paint the ground a lot, which you'll see, um, because it just adds, it makes it a lot more realistic. Like the way that the grass is in the game, while it does have varying colors of green, can you stop? Um... It doesn't have like a lot. It's just not very realistic. There's no dirt where people would normally be walking. There's no like, there's no like different like shades of uh, like, like if the grass would be dying a little bit and stuff like that. It just looks a lot more realistic when you paint the uh, different terrain paints. So yeah, and I also use that to make paths, even though I don't think the Sims actually use them as paths, but they look like paths. So I'm happy with that. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. Um, as you'll see throughout the rest of the speed build, I do like, I work in kind of like layers where um, I'll like add the base layer and then I'll go through it and I'll add all the details. So those will come a little bit later in the, in the video. Feel free to skip around if you want. I know it's about 14 minutes long, so it might be a little too long for some people. I do apologize for that. But it took me about two hours to build this thing and I think cutting it down to 14 is pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoy the speed build. Please go ahead and give it a like, or most of all, I want to hear see comments. I want to see what you guys think of it. So yeah, I hope there will be some comments below, and I will have to leave you here, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.